What's up, my psychedelic squad? It's your boy Trippy here coming at you with a new Madden 19 video today. And this is going to be my top five predictions of what we can see or what players we can see get an upgrade in the Ghost of Madden past promotion that should be dropping tomorrow, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll be dropping. Uh, with all that being said, man, um, only if you enjoyed the video, I hope you hit the like button, man, and hit the subscribe button to piece those mofos. It'll help the channel grow tremendously. And uh, let me know down below, what is your top five predictions for the new Ghost of Madden past promotion coming on, man? Now, I'm going to be doing five players outside of Michael Vick and Randy Moss, man. I mean, that's going to be in everybody's top five, bro. And obviously, one of them, one of those two players are going to get in here. So with all that being said, man, let's go ahead and get into the prediction. My first prediction of course is my main my man my main man b dog baby 91 overall free safety for the philadelphia eagles man of course he's a pretty good card as is with he'll still have 90 speed when powered up and night over 90 zone coverage with an 87 hit power 92 acceleration all that but it's about time this man got an upgrade bro if sean taylor can get an upgrade which i'm about to go ahead and show you as we pull that clutch Earl Thomas in the pack, we'll be having gameplay on that pretty soon. If Sean Taylor got an upgrade, right? And if, as you see, I already got, I'm sorry, he's sitting on my, my Brian Dawkins as it is. If Sean Taylor got an upgrade, man, and he came out right before Brian Dawkins, I don't understand why they won't give Brian Dawkins a card during the Ghost of Madden pass promotion, because he did have one in past Maddens. Um, outside before he was getting blitz promotion cards and all this other stuff he was one of the top cards to get a ghost of madden uh, pass card so it'd be pretty dope to go ahead and see my main man b doc get one of those cards so i can go ahead and power him up and upgrade him that's why i got him sitting right here waiting in the wings just in case man you never know what could happen but this is my this is my most wanted card Forget Randy Moss, forget Michael Vick, forget all these other cards, man. This is who I want on my team, bro, just to represent the Philadelphia Eagles. And here's also another former Philadelphia Eagle. I'm not about to sit here and make this an Eagles thing video. Like, don't get me wrong. But um, <clears throat> I am going to go ahead and um, say that Reggie White. <clears throat> here's another former Philadelphia Eagle left in. Reggie White, the minister of defense. I'm not going to sit here and make this a um, like a top five Eagles that should get it. No, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and get these two out of the way first. And um, this card is also known for getting a, a, a Ghost of Madden Pass card. I think not if not in the last one, the prior two before that. Uh, they all got, or Reggie White always got like a, a Ghost of Madden Pass card. So it's only about time he got one because the stats are very underwhelming even though he still has a 92 power move but he'll have a 90 or 89 block shedding let's get that a little higher strength still high speed probably be about an 80 81 maybe since it's a, such a huge increase in overalls you might even see him over 90 block shed power move and finesse move tackling might be crazy hit power gonna be amazing i just i can only hope and pray let's go ahead and compare him to um, nobody else. I just want to show you that I already got my main man, Reggie White, ready just in case, man. You never know, man. Fingers crossed. And we also have 92 overall halfback, Eddie George, who is, has a strong possibility to get an upgrade. Uh, if you didn't check the, like, uh, loading screen, if not a loading screen, it was like, um, a little ad thing that pops up right when you, uh, start up Madden. It had something that said, hashtag FBF, play Madden 2001, or Madden NFL 2001, whatever. Um, if you don't know, Eddie George was the cover athlete for NFL, or Madden NFL 2001. So, that seems to be basically a huge dead giveaway that Eddie George is a strong candidate to get one of the Ghost of Madden pass cards man now his price did shoot up a little bit he as you see people are buying him for 215 possibly doing the same thing investing coins into this card maybe his price will go up a little bit but he was currently sitting on like 160k especially after jerome bettis came out kind of shut the market down for power halfbacks such as himself because jerome bettis is a goon man let's just be honest and 
Eddie George is a little outdated. That's probably why I was showing my main man some love right now, man. Go ahead and give him one of these 96 to 97 overalls. It's still, uh, still all speculation, of course. But I can see Eddie George definitely getting a card coming up. Hopefully as soon as Friday. Here is my number two pick. Well, I'm not really going to put the numbers on this. Here is my next pick for Gustav Madden present card. And that is... 91 overall right guard, Larry Allen, formerly of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, his card still looks pretty solid, man. You power him up, everything is going to be over 90. I'm not going to say he's necessarily outdated because I'm pretty sure he's like the Steve Hutchinson at right guard. Like, he's not the best, but he's damn sure not the worst, and he's really a solid pickup. And he goes for about 180K, give or take, because that's a pretty big cutoff right there. But... Uh, so for about 190k, you get a really solid right guard on your team, but you can also get like a Zach Martin who has basically around the same stats. But I'm pretty sure that since they already showed that they'll give offensive linemen love in uh, these Ghost of Mana promotions because they gave Lane Johnson a card. So I can only assume and hope that they would give Larry Allen one of those coveted, I don't know how many spots they'll have, maybe about six. That seems to be the theme. Uh, one of those coveted six spots on this promotion, man. If not, maybe a LTD. I don't know, man. Pretty sure they're going to sell. Um, oh, I'll touch on that a little later. But it's it'll only be right. He, he still looks pretty good, and his card still has, like, some pretty decent stats. But, you know, go ahead and make him beastly. I think he... But... He still has pretty decent stats, but why not make him even more beastly and go ahead and give him a Ghost of Madden pass card? And here is probably the card that has the best chance outside of Vic and Moss is Steve Young. I suggest you go ahead and pick him up now. He goes for about 97K. You probably bought a million of him um, when you're trying to go ahead and quick sell some players for some training. Go ahead and pick one of these bad boys up. I'm about to do it. Matter of fact, I'm going to do it right now. Go ahead and pick one of these bad boys up just in case he gets one of these cards, man. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell him for even more coins because his price is going to shoot up. But he he was basically the Vic right before Vic came out, even though Vic like came out like shortly after the game was released. Um, his stats are very, well, his stats really aren't that bad. Let me be honest. Uh, he's really at that stage in the game. Like he had like the highest throw deep accuracy, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, with all, all his stats being like right on the cusp, I can honestly see them giving Steve Young a Legends card since he's so outdated right now, bro. Even I'm pretty sure somebody can win a couple games with him. His stats aren't horrible or anything, but the 85 throw power, we all know Steve Young had a better cannon than that. And the 81 speed, he was more athletic. So I can, this is probably my front runner for one of those top six cards to get into the Ghost of Madden present or past cards. Um, now, as far as like limited editions go, I'm pretty sure, like, I think they only do two LTDs. They might do three, depending. Uh, but it's, you know, the day after these uh, Ghost of Madden cards come out, the next following day, they have uh, limited time cards that'll be in packs. So along with whatever limited time legend, which I'm praying it is uh, Rod Woodson, so I can go ahead and upgrade my Rod Woodson that I have now to uh, like a 96 or whatever overall in order to get that card. So we do, we'll have, let me see if I can find them. I'll go ahead and go to quality. Um, they, like I said, they will have the limited time cards. Like Kyrion Johnson was the future, or one of the two future uh, Ghost of Madden cards for the rookies or the Ghost of Madden, <clears throat> like we do have Carrion Johnson, who was one of the Ghost of Madden future limited times, as well as, where's he at? I don't even know if he's on the auction block. That's crazy. Jahir Alexander, which apparently just turned into one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL, uh, or at least in Madden. Then when the present promotion came out, you had Luke Keekley the next day, who was available in packs, as well as Mr. That Bad, I don't even know why I call him Mr. That Bad Man, Aaron Rodgers, man, who just might be the best quarterback in the game outside of his speed, but everything else is really solid and really, 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 really freaking dope. And he has just enough speed to get a little shifty outside the pocket, you know? But I'm assuming that those two legends are going to be either Randy Moss, if he's not one of the top six, of course, or Michael Vick. I'm assuming since, you know, 
Now, a lot of people thought that the overalls are going to like drop, like jump to because 93 uh, Ghost of Madden Future jumped to 95 Ghost of Madden uh, Present. And then they're assuming that that, that next two jump is going to go ahead and, you know, occur. But I'm here to pump the brakes on that, man. And I say that because of this. This is a dead giveaway, too. So you got the 93 Ghost of Madden Future Packs or Future Cards. Then the limited times are 94. So when the Ghost of Madden present came out, you're thinking, oh, my God, the limiteds are going to be like 96. No, they were 95 overall. So I'm assuming that the Ghost of Madden past cards are going to be 96 overall. It's only right. Like, it's pretty much a dead giveaway. But the LTDs are also going to be 96 overall. I don't see them releasing a 97 overall card right now, only because the only one that's in the game so far is Ricky Williams once you get the level 70. So I honestly don't see um you know nothing jumping out too crazy but those cards are going to be absolutely they're going to be really expensive it might even drop the present cards just a little bit man depending on how the snow market fluxes uh so depending on the gifts that come out also depending on uh what new deals or new methods you have for getting snow as well as if you completed the solo challenges things of that nature um uh, you know will determine how how much this card costs so like you know in order to get a Deion Sanders blitz, it takes about, what, 15000 17000 some crazy amount of training like that to get him without buying his card. Uh, so that's about 600 k Whatever the cheapest way to get coin or training is, that's going to be the, the base price for these cards. So it takes about 600 k in order to get you a Ghost of Madden Presence card uh, with Snow. So it'll only be whatever that base price is for that. It's going to be the base price for, um, you know... The rest of these cards which these cards actually dropping they were like 660k earlier and they're dropping a little fast now maybe everybody else is pulling one too either way i didn't ramble for too long um if you enjoyed the video man go ahead and smack that like button hit the subscribe button two piece those mofos it'll help the channel grow tremendously had to throw in that shameless plug also man i don't really do this often but go ahead and follow me on twitter man i'll be up there all the time just bull jiving talking about new release cards before i can get home and do a video on them and uh, also, let me know down below in the comment section, who do you think, you? what's your top five? Let me know all top five and or limited if you wanna, wanna include them. You can do like, you know, four legends and then like your LTD, I don't really care. Whatever you feel like putting, go ahead and put it down below, man. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, also, stay tuned, I should have um, the 95 overall Earl Thomas and Julio Jones gameplay coming out shortly after this video. I got a little sidetracked at the first one, and, you know, I just felt like I should go ahead and do this one. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. In order to stay tuned, you got to subscribe. So, but go ahead and stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, peace.